You're watching the Graphic Network channel. Enjoy watching. Hi everyone and welcome with me uh, in another quick tutorial where we're going to see how to uh, render without a background in After Effects and how to fix the black or a gray background color that keeps showing on in your uh, rendered video uh, when inserting it in another uh, video editing program. Uh, so recently I noticed that many people complained uh, about when they uh, render a video or footage uh, in their After Effects without a background uh, either either a uh, lower third for example or uh, uh, an effects animation and and when they want to include this uh, rendered animation or lower third animation in, in another uh, in their project video in another uh, video editing program uh, well they found uh, that this animation or this uh, footage is not as it should be because it sh it keeps showing on, showing on to them uh, a black or a gray in most of times uh, color a background uh, that hides all their video projects and not showing on uh, just the the given animation the lower third or or the animation or the effects animation and the thing the thing that I also have known and that lets me try to fix. Uh, or found a solution for it, which took me uh, um, for almost two year, uh, two two days. I'm sorry, two days, not two years. <laughs> it's too much. No, just two two days of looking and searching of the solution between, uh, you know, between uh, changing the output of the After Effects between and trying to change the codec of the video, trying to convert the video in other formats uh, also try to change some settings in in, in the after effects uh, uh, itself and the, the and the animation project until i finally came out to find a solution or a re or a resolution to fix this problem so as you see with me here uh, here is a quick and uh, and small uh, lower third animation that uh, we will try to uh, show how to render with it in uh, without the background in After Effects and sh and sh show how to fix uh, the problem of uh, the background with the gray or black color that keeps showing on in, in your other editing program software. So first thing, let's try to let's change some text here in this uh, animation. appears so let's play it and the animation starts like this and it ends by going back and uh, ending and hiding like that And so now let's go and try to render this lower third example animation. So and this uh, render section, well, I am going to show you uh, two more two uh, methods so, of rendering. So the first one, the first method of rendering is the one that we we all know 
and we all did in the first place the one and it's that, that it comes uh, it comes out that gives us uh, the problem and the issue of the black or the gray background color when we, we want to include it in another video uh, program edit. and the second render method is the one we're going to see the fixed and uh, correct example of this uh, animation rendering without background and the one where we are going to uh, include in another uh, program editing without showing and without seeing any uh, background uh, gray or black or any color okay so the first thing we do uh, as you know when we want to render without a background is uh, to go in this area here and uh, click you know, on it to toggle the transparency grid, uh, transparency grid here and after that we go and select our main composition the one that contains all the footage and animation compositions then we go to composition and add to render cube so in the first setting uh, we leave it as it is as best settings and next in the output model we click and uh, we found here the first uh, thing is to choose the quick time uh, format and here in the output video we choose the RGB plus alpha then we click here to choose the codec format uh, leave it in animation here uh, and then we don't forget to, to choose the audio audio uh, the same uh, as I did we just disactivate the audio then uh, everything is ok we go and click ok and then here we choose where uh, we're going to save our uh, video animation and output uh, location and yep it's done rendering here it was just a quick and small animation uh, lower third with not much time just 10 seconds so now let's go and uh, play the video uh, render it to see how it, uh, how it looks good um, it's, it's, it's correct and uh, with good quality so now after we render it uh, let's go and try to insert it in the other uh, video editing program and see how it's gonna be like okay and here we are here in our uh, editing pro uh, video uh, program platform this video editing program I use is called uh, Magix Video Pro and I'm used it uh, to, to, to work with it uh, for a long time ago and I'm still using it in the right moment, in the right time and I, I really, I must say that I really like and, uh, and appreciate and uh, yes, I like this program and how it, how it is, uh, how I work with it and I know that um, a lot of you uh, will, uh, will, uh, will know this program and like uh, there will be others that uh, they have no idea about it so this program it's uh, really not uh, an advanced and uh, so complicated uh, program editing video, video editing program like After Effects or Premiere Pro or I don't know else but uh, instead of that I must say that I worked with it and it's, uh, it's great, it's good, it's, uh, it's handy and uh, it can give you anything I think, uh, anything you want about editing your uh, video projects uh, like uh, starting by transitions if you want to include, it, include them in your video and um, cutting your video in um, different sections playing the audio and mixing with it also and you can put some effects in your video 
and also uh, taping your text and changing it in, uh, in different formats and uh, doing some effects on it and uh, an outro and uh, the intro effects and a lot of things you, know, you can change the colors, the effects in your video, your text there is some templates, 3D templates in it also and like I said it's not a very complicated program and you can get used to it in a very short time and also you will find it easy to work also it can give you real time uh, preview and uh, for example any, time, any action you do you can see it in the right time and for rendering yeah, I can say that it has a great way of rendering and you found uh, many uh, formats of rendering also and the resolutions and uh, by the way for you know it's just uh, it's just uh, it's not a promotional part of the video here about this program i'm not promotioning this, vi this video program uh, it's just uh, that i like this program and working with it and i wanted to uh, let you know and give you a small definition about it like that uh, just you know to let you be with me in this tutorial so now let's go and uh, bring our um, video sample then uh, let's try to include to bring the, the rendered video animation and try to include it and now let's play uh, our video and see how it's uh, gonna be and how it looks like so, okay. and yeah you, as you see and as I told you uh, here it is and uh, it's playing not like it should be and it is showing that uh, gray background uh, color uh, sometimes a black background color that um, that, that, that uh, your project hide it and uh, not showing just the animation so for now we have seen the first method of rendering the one that gives us this issue of uh, gray or black or black background color in uh, our in our other uh, editing program software and next let's go and see the second method of rendering the one that we uh, where we are going to fix and uh, render without uh, any problem and without this uh, background color and hey we are again in our after effect project in our animation so let's go and try to render with different settings and so let's, as always let's go and um, highlight our comp main composition uh, then composition add to render queue so here uh, the best settings leave it as it is then go to lossless uh, our output model and now here in lossless we are not going to choose for this time the quick time uh, format but we are going to choose the AVE after that choosing the video output uh, RGB plus alpha and uh, clicking in the format option in the video codec we try to choose this one the text make screen capture codec uh, i think that you that you i think that you should have it here between all these because uh, i i have it here and i think that you're going to see it also then you go click ok and for the audio output uh, like i said before you can Deactivate it or leave it if you have audio or song in your project animation. And yeah, then before I forget, I, I, I should tell you that it's really important to choose here in this part uh, format option here in a uh, video codec format, uh, like for example, the one I choose the text mix, uh, and not leave it in non option uh, like uh, without anything. Uh, because because it's uh, it's uh, concerning the, the the size of the rendered video. If you, if you leave it in non without choosing anything, the output video will be so huge in its size. Okay, then uh, we are going to choose our output location. We are going to, where we are going to render the video, and that's it. 
Next, uh, we click Render. Yeah, now the render is done so quickly. And let's go to see our video how it's uh, going to look like. everything is okay with and with good quality also so now let's go and try to, to uh, insert it or include it again in uh, our magic video pro uh, or your or your video editing program uh, okay and uh, and see how it's gonna be like and here with our uh, same video sample we are going to just change the video around red footage uh, with that one we are uh, just rendered in the last time with the AVE uh, format so let's go and try to include it here with the sample video and uh, look if it's going to work or not so it's inserted and now let's play the video and see how it's going to happen the animation video lower third is showing like it should be and everything is showing good without any color background the video format is is uh, good and with good quality uh, as we see here uh, we're playing it and everything is correct and it is working just perfect and now I can assure you that I can include this uh, video lower third animation without background in any other uh, uh, editing program software or editing program platform without any pro pro problem or without any showing of, of a, a gray or black or any, any color background uh, in, in, in the background side and so until, we, until here I think that I'm done with everything I'm done with this video tutorial showing how to fix this problem of background color showing in your uh, rendered footage so i must thank you very very much for your time and for watching this tutorial with me and please don't forget if i can always uh, uh, like and subscribe means a lot to me and uh, i appreciate a lot that and also you are welcome to comment and give your uh, opinion your expressions and yeah, at the end, I hope that this video tutorial will be so will be so helpful for you and fix the problem for you. You were watching with me in this tutorial how to uh, render uh, your footage animation without a background and how to fix uh, the black or gray color that sh keeps showing on when inserting your um, your footage in another program editing software. And like always, this is the Graphic Network channel. Enjoy watching.